Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 16 called Falling. So we start off with Kat is on the talk, an actual real show. And she's giving like a speech about Supergirl and, you know, how, you know, basically how she crafted her into the magazine and, you know, just about all of her stuff. And actually went along really good. So then we cut to where Supergirl helps a girl with bullies, um, cause she, cause the girl's like a huge fan of Supergirl and she was wearing like, um, like a homemade costume and she knows these girls were bullying her, the real Supergirl. So she landed and it's like, you know, and, you know, handles it, you know, in a mature way. Then we cut to her car, catches Wynn doing the dirty, having a slumber party uh, with Siobhan in the utility closet. <laughs> and so that was mm, very off-putting for her. She used her X-ray vision, so... And then we cut to where Lucy quit, and then James is a little depressed. And then we have Alex and Carr talk about the uh, about relationships and how they always strike out. And then we cut to where Crane is being a little flirty with Henshaw and um, slash giving them some more money for the DEO. Then Supergirl helps with a fire that happened, but some there was something red that affected her. It literally, she didn't really notice it, but we saw like a red thing go over like her face and uh, she starts to dress different and like be more a little bit more edgy dressed than her normal clothes. And they have uh, Supergirl is being uh, bratty with um, at the DO and she goes back to a car heist and the person gets you know first they get beat up a little bit and then she said that um, she lets them go and now it says like what happened and so she lied and says like. He just, you know, he just got away. What do you want me to do about it? Then we cut to where Kat dismiss, uh, dismisses uh, Kara because she took her private elevator and nobody does that. And uh, <laughs> and so we just have Supergirl just being nasty and just in general. And then Siobhan has dirt on Supergirl. Um, but Kat Grant dismisses that as a you don't say anything about that. So, uh, Kara overhears it, of course, and so she prints out her email and gives it to Cat Grant, and she fires her. Because <laughs> uh, Siobhan, what Siobhan tried to do is she tried to send the um, article or whatever to a different company. Kara caught wind of it, printed it out, and gave it to Cat Grant, and so Cat fires Siobhan. So then Car goes dancing with uh, James and Wynn, and then Car dances with James and basically is being, ooh, <laughs> there, and you know just is being kind of super headstrong, flirty, and then um, she's also being a touch aggressive, and then while they're dancing, she slams Lucy and James is having it, so she leaves. Then we cut word to Cat uh, Grant tells the Supergirl, and she says, "I quit." Slams Cat and throws her off the roof because they're having like altercation, but she saves her at the last minute, and so that really off put Cat Grant. So she publicly denounces her and tells her that you know something has happened and to just stay away from her. Then we cut to where Kara sets fire to her clothes. And then of Kara's being pure mad, like just straight up angry. Then Crane says to take her down. Then we have Supergirl is causing havoc. So John transforms and uh, goes to fight her. Then Alex shoots her and gets rid of the kryptonite. And then since John transformed, he got arrested, and then we have Kara is back to herself, and we find out that, I guess who's behind it? Max Lord is behind it. He was trying to duplicate Kryptonite, and it backfired, and they 
very he was the one that supplied the new bullets to neutralize Supergirl and to make her back to her, herself. And now she's realizing what she's done. Like she still knows what she did. She wasn't like in some type of like like another personality took over. She actually remembers what she did. So she is really sorry because it's not like her. Then we cut to where Crane is mad at John. Then Card tells James um, how she feels about him, but he cuts her off before she can really say anything, and he needs space. Then Cat and Supergirl talk, and uh, Cat forgives her, but you know she's still got a long ways to go with the actual public. So um, that's going to do it for the. Um, that was in the episode, so I would give this episode, literally, I'll probably give this an A+. Plus. It was a really good episode, because you, you get to see what other kryptonite can do to uh, Supergirl, because you have green ones that obviously weakens her, you have the red ones that make her angry, and I think they're, the ones they used in this episode were blue, and that neutralized the red, and make her go back to herself. And you get to see a different side of uh, card that you don't normally see, which... I mean, a little bit of that can be a little bit refreshing, but, I mean, we all love, like, the girl next door type deal, and, you know, I really did enjoy this episode, but the play, she played dirty with uh, Siobhan was something else, so, <laughs> but, um, I really enjoyed it, and, and the whole John situation, you get to learn more about, well, you get to see his consequences from what he did, so, there's that, and what else? I think that's it. So that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Just tell me what you think down below. Also, any other suggestions you have for any other shows, music, or movies, also let me know down below. And just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody. And also, I want to say thank you for everyone in Australia and South Korea and the UK, besides the US. Thank you for watching. I didn't know that people in the UK or Australia or South Korea <laughs> watch. I just look up my demographic for the first time forever. I was like, oh, awesome. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.